life cycle the cost of quality plays a very vital role uh, the quality of software the moment it moves from one stage of a software development life cycle the cost to fix or develop uh, goes exponentially higher the moment it moves into the production it is way too exponential so it is very important for us to keep the cost of quality low by bringing some of the best practices of uh, if you look at in the software development cycle you have uh, requirements you have development design development testing and then production right so keeping them contained at each and every level even before it comes to pure functional testing if you could keep it lower that reduces the cost of quality yep as i said we have all these phases of sdlc implementing quality engineering practices right from requirements uh development design and development we could reduce the cost of quality when you look at from a requirements standpoint most of the cases are agile right now so we build user stories if you are building user stories with clear acceptance criteria and also being able to demark what goes into the unit test what goes into the integration what goes into the functional that will help us to reduce the effort that is being spent on the testing phases which are coming in the later phases now how do we usually check that if we have this uh code coverage tools being implemented we'll be able to measure how much of code coverage is there and the success criteria will define you to say how well we are moving with the unit tests and the integration tests now when we come to the uh, design phase of it a very key factor plays in there is we do not bring a architecture that is not really scalable or expandable that's most of the requirements right it has to be scalable it has to be maintainable it is to uh, extend and use it very well now as part of this the key factor is the ability to define and testable architecture is very important and that's the reason you see the roles of sdets coming into play very much and uh, we at epm are also doing that to say that we have real sdets who can really get into the phase of uh, the design phase where we can challenge the architecture to make sure it is testable the main reason is if you do not develop a testable architecture application the aftermath of the application that is being developed and fix again the cost of quality goes high so if you are able to design a, a testable architecture at the lower phases you are able to get it to an uh, reduce the cost of quality now at the similar phase when you come to development we already have defined an uh, requirement that says what needs to be tested in unit what goes into integration what goes to functional now as part of the development phase if you are implementing either tdd or any approaches if you are implementing the uh, best practices of using the code uh, unit testing tools and the code coverage we shall always give you how much it needs to be done now after that when it comes to the phase of real testing where this in during in development phase also we could actually go in and do desk checks which will reduce the testing cycles and once it moves on then we can talk about real functional testing ad hoc or uh, exploratory testing that needs to be done and if this gets automated you are making sure you are doing it and also if you are implementing code coverage for your automation uh, tests or the functional tests that are being done you really know what is the coverage we are looking at and we are making sure we have right coverage in terms of testing that needs to be done in this way we could really start reducing the cost of quality by improving our requirements your testable architecture and implementing all the engineering practices of uh, development including the unit and integration tests so usually the cost of quality is usually measured using the defect containment is one of the metrics that is predominantly used defect containment will tell us saying that these are the defects which were found in various stages of the sdlc now we if we baseline that at a stage where before we start implementing these best practices we could start documenting in them and baseline saying that these many defects were found at each stage that could be contained now we need to see that how the reduction comes in the defect containment say that the more defects were found in the early stages of sdlc that will actually reduce the cost of quality by default so in that way if you start monitoring your uh, defect containment uh, metrics you'll be able to measure uh, the reduction in cost of quality coming in very fast